Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be playing in a cute little bob lace wig. She comes from My First Wig and you guys know I love this company. Packaging on point. They give you this flyaway edge tamer that I absolutely love and I've used so many times. They give you a few samples of your leave-in conditioner as well as a goodie bag that includes your baby hair brush, your wig cap. They're going to give you inside the little pouch um, some of these little bobby pins, your elastic, they give you a rat tail comb and some clips which are essential for installing your lace wigs and even an instruction manual on how to do everything. Here is the wig itself. It comes in a nice little sleeve and this is something that you can literally keep forever. You have an information card that lets you know exactly what you have and all the specs on your new wig. And then of course here is the pixie cut. She comes with a nice side part and as you guys can see the knots are all ready bleached and ready to go which makes this very beginner friendly and to add the icing on the cake they've even included an adjustable elastic band so first thing I notice is when I put the wig on if it's super snug you kind of see how I kind of you know pull it on and put it into place it's not flying off it's not hanging off by any means it fits my head like a glove the lace here is a medium brown the texture is silky the bob itself is 10 inches, but as you guys can see, it definitely has some layer to it. So in some, you know, areas it is a little bit shorter, and in the front it comes up with a nice little bang. Her name is Gemini, and she's a Malaysian short hair bob lace front wig. And as you guys can see, my first step is going to be to just go ahead and cut off the excess lace, and that means we are in good shape. Normally, I would go ahead and pluck and tweeze the hairline. I will go ahead and add maybe even a little bit of a lace tint to the lace underneath the wig. I would bleach the knots. I would do all these different steps to perfect the wig. But that's the great thing about My First Wigs. It's a very beginner-friendly website. And this one here did not disappoint. So today, you guys are going to be following along as I go ahead and install and style this one here. Pixie cuts are not my specialty, but I'm definitely working on getting much, much better. Something that is very key is making sure that the wig fits flawlessly around your ear. And that's kind of what you're watching me do here. I'm pretty much going ahead and making sure all the excess lace, all the excess hair is from around my ear so that it fits flat, flawless, and flush. Now that we've done all of that and got all that excess lace and all that excess hair, it is the perfect fit for me. So I am pretty much ready to install. I'm going to be using the Got To Be Glue Gel. You guys know I normally use the spray, but um, from what I understand, it is an aerosol spray. And I'm trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly um, and a little bit more friendly to my own skin. So this is a better option in that sense, but the spray is definitely a faster solution. I kind of go ahead and apply a good generous amount. I let that get tacky maybe for a good 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how thick of a layer you applied. And then I go ahead and apply the lace right on top. I always use the rat tail comb, the silver side, to pretty much go in and work that product in, marry that lace with that product with my forehead to make sure everything bonds and lays down smooth. If you're in a rush, wait until you have time. You definitely want to take your time when it comes to applying your lace and installing your wig for a flawless finish. You don't want people to be like, ooh, she put her wig on herself. You want people to be like, what salon, what stylist, who did your hair, even though you've done it yourself. Now, I love to use a scarf to go ahead and bond and melt my lace down. This is one of my favorite steps, especially because I normally have to take breaks. I do have two little ones running around the house. So normally that works out so I can go ahead and tend to them. As you guys can see, I am a little bit obsessed with the smell of alcohol these days. I don't know why I am six months pregnant, so that's probably why. But lately, every time I need alcohol, it just smells so good. Now, disclaimer, I do not walk around sniffing alcohol, but it does smell really, really, really good. Ice tastes good. So many, so many crazy pika cravings during this pregnancy. But back to this wig, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I lay down everything with an electric hot comb so that we are ready to go and to create our baby hair. If I did not mention, I did use the alcohol to go ahead and clean up the hairline. Any excess gel or adhesive that I had used, I kind of wanted to make sure that was off my hairline. And that is pretty much the best product to use for that. 
Now I'm going in with my foam lotion to create the perfect baby hair. I want the hairline to be super flawless and I definitely feel like foam lotion is always the best for me. The one I'm loving right now is linked in the description bar. This has been my by far my favorite of all the ones I've tried when it comes to my hairline. So make sure you guys go ahead and click the link and check on that. Now I kind of started off wanting to be super subtle with the baby hair but I ended up doing like three little swoops. Two on this side, one on the opposite side and it worked out pretty well. Foam motion also works great on your textured curly hair. It works great pretty much everywhere on here in my opinion. I'm going to take the flyaway tamer that they provided and I'm going to go ahead and just lay everything down and make sure there are no flyaways, nothing you know sticking up or anything crazy and this is what we have. So if you're someone who likes your pixie cuts or your bobs to be straight, you can kind of go ahead and touch up the straightness and kind of, you know, find a style that works for you. I wanted to do some curls, but I'm just not completely fluent when it comes to these super, super shortcuts like this. I kind of feel like, <laughs> as you, my face says it all, but it just never looks flawless and effortless on me. Um, I don't know if it's just my face shape, my head shape, my look, I don't know, but um, one thing I did do was go to Instagram and ask you guys for a little bit of help on what I'm doing wrong, and you guys did suggest that I go ahead and get a smaller, um, you know, like curling iron, like a really, really, really tiny flat iron, and I'm going to go ahead and pick one up from Sally's tomorrow. That way, they say, basically, it's that flick of the wrist that helps to get that nice curl with these cuts, but the smaller flat iron will make them a little bit more defined, so I'm definitely going to try that out, but you guys can watch my little trial and error as I improvised and worked with my flat iron to create the look I kind of got a little bit of frustrated so I just went ahead and got my Paul Mitchell skinny serum and kind of just took a break from the curls to kind of just tease it and play with it and find my way and that's the key to it don't get frustrated take a break if you need to I also can see now that I'm playing back this video areas where I could have just went ahead and trimmed it to define it a little bit better and to mold it to my own personal head shape and that would have definitely helped next time I probably would do the curls on the mannequin head as well because I definitely think that will work so here I kind of felt like I was getting a little bit more progress with this little flick of the wrist situation and it worked out. It definitely worked out. I kind of feel like I will go back in and try again for a more flawless look but I am pleased with what I got done today and again this was a super flawless super easy install and I just topped it off with a little bit of powder around the hairline and this is going to help to make the hairline look flawless and blend with my own skin tone and voila this is it. I had no issues with the wig itself. All I want to do is just get some better curls, but the wig itself was pretty much flawless and ready to go. Again, if you want to opt for a straight look, you definitely could do that. I feel like the curl would fit me better. This one again comes from my first wig. Make sure you check them out. All the links to this wig are in the description bar as well as coupon codes and everything for you guys to shop. Even a list of everything I used to achieve this look is in the description bar. So pretty much everything you want to know is there. Thank you guys so much for watching Wig Sew at the end of this week, so make sure you're subscribed and you don't miss out. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.